Welcome back to iGaming. Today we're going to talk about schematics. I am getting lots of comments recently asking where we can get the schematics, how you unlock schematics, and where pretty much all along those lines. Now, some of you may not know, we do not need to actually locate schematics anymore. We have what is called the schematics tree. But before we get into how we actually unlock these things, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, let me know if Santa brought you everything that you wanted, and I hope you all had a great Christmas and are looking forward to New Year. Let's jump in and have a look. Now this here is the schematics tree. And what this does is basically allows us to unlock schematics using apparel schematic points. Or, if we head over to the experimental, experimental schematic points. Equipment, equipment schematic points, and ammo schematic points, then finally DLC schematic points. Now what these do is unlock various recipes. For apparel, we're looking at clothing benefits. Experimental, these are experimental ammunition types, not weapons. Equipment is all the equipment that you use, i.e. grenades, medkits, things like that. Ammo, obviously self-explanatory, it unlocks your ammo. And then finally DLC is for the DLC weapons. So the longest one that we're going to be facing by far is definitely the apparel schematics tree. And that is because obviously we have one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks there. Each one of those has five separate ones in it, and they increase with price. So level two will cost you four points, level three will cost you seven, and then level four will cost you ten, and so on and so on. And that's just going to keep going, so it is going to be quite a tough one. But... Best way to get these schematic points, so the only way to get these schematic points is from farming rivals. But the downside is you will only get one point per rival. So it is a bit tough, it will take a bit of time, but eventually we'll get there. Now I'll show you how you can actually farm a rival uh, for those that don't know. So for those that don't know, a rival is this guy here with the black swords uh, followed by the red outline. And all you need to do is Find one of these bad boys and shoot him. Level does not matter. Machine type does not matter. All you need to do is destroy that rival. Now, there may be some people out there that don't know how to actually get rivals. All you need to do is level up your region score. You can do that by destroying machines that are not rivals. So any normal machines that don't have names above them, destroy them, stay in the same region, and eventually you will get one. There we go. That is one apparel schematic point. So pretty simple. Um, I know some people out there were a little bit curious as to how we get these things. So there we go. Hopefully that one has helped. Let's move on to the next one. Next up are experimental schematics. Now these were introduced quite a while ago and they make standard weapons that little bit more um, spicy, shall we say. They add a hell of a lot of fun and they can be really pokey when paired with experimental weapons. Now, the way you used to be able to get these was through random drops from completing base assault missions. Now, the way that you get them is through points. And those points, the way you get those is through base defense and base assault. Now, the way that works is, as you can see up here, the first base assault mission was there. So you build up your base and then the enemies come to assault it. Or you can actually assault a base yourself, which is a much um, less, less resource consuming process, let's say. All you've got to do is head over to it and blow it up and I will show you how to do that right now. Now this is a base assault. On the map, they look a little bit like this, these red points here, and you can actually turn these into your own base once you've destroyed them. Best way to do them is to get some high ground and just launch a hell of a load of explosives. If you do have explosives uh, to spare, then definitely the best way of doing it. And what you want to be looking out for are these red sort of beacons that are here. What these beacons will do is provide a generator inside them, head into that generator, open it up, and blow it up. So, bish bash bosh, open this up, and then just shoot the core there, and that core will explode, and that is a generator down. Once you've got all four generators down, depending on the actual level of the base, some have three, some only have two. Once you've got that down, you move on to your next one. You know how it is. Blow that up there, then head straight in, and what you're gonna do is destroy this big thing in the middle here. Once you've started to shoot this, what it'll do is put up a red shield, similar to what the Reaper does, 
And whilst that rear shield is up, do not shoot it because you will just be wasting your ammo. And as soon as it drops it, fish bash bosh, hit it again. And just keep doing that for the next, say, minute, two minutes it takes. Uh, but as it is coming up, these red shields, what these will do is bring in more machines and also its own sort of artillery. So as that artillery is coming in, um, you will see red marks on the floor, which I'll show you in just a second when it happens. And there we go. You can see it just around here on the floor. So as that's coming in, you've got to be careful and watch where you're actually running. Oh, uh, but then all you need to do is just revive, head back into the center and just keep shooting it. And once you've done, you get yourself a nice experimental and even a schematic Best point. One. Absolutely. Next up, adrenaline shot or equipment helps you schematics. in a fight. Keeps These a ones fight are definitely the most valuable keeps that ones that you're going to want. Because nice right at the well, bottom so here, we have always the adrenaline, adrenaline but shot. The way which, that you um, actually get these chef's kiss points the best is pretty one. simple. Absolutely you're love the adrenaline need shot. Hell of a lot helps of you in a fight because you need the fight 160 going just keeps that extra adrenaline chain shot nice and high as well. So, but how you get always fun to have is. But I think the way that you actually get these same with the ammo points is pretty simple. You're going to need a hell of a lot shot. of points. Helps you use you need fight. 160 keeps the fight going just and for the keeps that XP shot alone. Chain. Nice and high as well. But how you so get them is fun to have. I think this but is definitely the one way of the that you will actually ways, get these the ammo. Here. Now, this is the crafting bench and can be found at various safe houses throughout Osterton. All you need to do is head straight over to it and craft something from the equipment branch. Now, if you craft something from the ammo branch, it won't get you the equipment point, but you will get ammo points. Um, so. I would recommend going for the simple first aid kit. It's a very easy piece. Adhesive and textile are very easily found. So you need four textile, two adhesive, and adhesive can be found from machines. Textile you can find in backpacks, pretty much everywhere. And you get a point per crafted item. So that works for all equipment. So if you head up and craft yourself a advanced first aid kit, Adhesive is 6 and textiles is 12, so it takes a whole load more. Remember that for each item that you craft, you are only getting a single item now, which is, yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully they'll sort of buff it a little bit again, but we shall see. Next up is the ammo schematics tree. Now this one, I'm assuming a lot of people are already going to have because ammo is something that we've all needed and I'm pretty sure a lot of regular players have gone out and grabbed all of these already when they were at findable locations. But this is pretty much exactly the same as the equipment branch. All you need to do is head straight over to this bad boy Craft one of the lower items that would, is what I would recommend and you will get yourself a point. So craft yourself some 243 or even scroll through and see what you actually need. Because ammo, you're always going to need it. You're always going to use it. So worth just crafting a whole bunch, I'd reckon. Next up is the DLC. Now, the way that you get these, as it says, is acquired by crafting DLC items. So all you've got to do is buy your first DLC and you will end up with some bits for that DLC. So the blueprints will already be there. Um, so it's it's a pretty much redundant feature, I would say. But, I mean, some people may use it, some people may not. I myself have obviously already got all of these because I own all the DLCs. And they'll probably expand on this and add more as time goes on and as we head further into 2023. But we shall see. So, that is how you get all of the new schematics going forward. Hopefully they'll add a load more and we'll see some extra bits, potentially missions tied into these schematic points. I think that would be really cool rather than just, you know, going out doing the same things, especially for the clothing schematics, because that is a hell of a chunk of work that you are going to need to do to get those. Going out and destroying all those um, rivals is going to be a hell of a challenge. Um, a lot of people have probably already got them. But some people, especially newer players, it is a very daunting aspect of the crafting system. So whether they'll change it, whether you'll get more points per rival is yet to be seen. They have said that they went overboard on the actual crafting mechanic uh, by bringing it down way too much. So hopefully we'll see a change in that within the uh, next few weeks slash next update. There is another way you can actually get these points as well, and that is by finding them throughout the world. I've only seen one or two, so I believe that what they've done is replaced original location points. So that could be 
something to look into, something that I'm going to try and check out, but I can't seem to find any more. I've, I found one completely randomly that we'll see. If I do find another way about getting those, then I will let you know. But for now, that is it from me. And welcome to 2023. We do have a video coming next week about what we need to see in Generation Zero for 2023. I'm hoping we see some pretty cool improvements to the game and a hell of a lot more communication from the team. For now, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video. I've been Wired, you've been awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.